morning. Oh, for his love, it was not just blood of another spot. Let's laugh. Oh, his blood, it was precious blood. Just so 
Hallelujah. 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 Blessed be the name of the Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord. It's good to worship the Lord. It's good to be in the presence of the Lord. Amen. There are some, there are some prayer requests here. Amen. Dan. These individuals, we need to pray for them. Praise God. They're in need of our prayer and their behalf. Praise God. So we're going to approach the throne of grace and mercy in their behalf. Amen. And also our behalf. Praise God in this mission's service this morning. Praise God. Brother Grant, he is not feeling well and he's asking the church, the brethren, to, to pray for him. Praise God. His brother, Donovan Grant. Amen. I remember Brother Donovan Grant in our prayers. All right, Sister Sonia Bennett, can you come to the front? I'm going to ask one of the elders to anoint you with oil and pray for you amen you can take a chair and sit as we pray for you amen sister sonia bennett let's remember to pray for minister milton rogers he is absent today he's not feeling well and we want to pray for minister rogers amen he's feeling some pain Praise God, and we want to pray that the Lord will grant him deliverance and a healing touch at this time. Praise God. Sister Welch, she is still recovering from the surgery that was done some time ago. I want to continue to remember Sister Welch. She is the mission's coordinator, and I know that if she was well, she would not miss this service. So I want to remember her in our prayers. Sister Stewart, I want to remember Sister Udella Stewart. She is with us. Amen. She don't want to miss church. Amen. And so she is with us today. I'm going to ask the elder to anoint Sister Stewart also. Praise God with oil. We pray for Sister Udella Stewart. Minister Sonia Butler, she is absent. And you know, Sister Butler, she's going through up and down a wave. I would call it sometimes she's up and sometimes she is down. I would pray that the Lord will touch her and bring her up and she'll stay up. Praise God. Amen. And she will not be defeated by and overcome by the sickness. Andel Price, I don't know if, if many of you no Andel Price. They call him Giant. He resides in the Elsha community. He is a good friend of mine. Praise God. He is, I should say, backslider. Amen. You remember that he came and was reclaimed one a long time ago. It was a watch night service and he was planning to, you know, end his life. And he came and he got reclaimed, but he slipped away again. He is in the hospital, the Spanish town hospital. Praise God. And so he contacted me, and I told him that we would pray for him. So please remember Andel Price, giant, who is in the Spanish town hospital. Also want to pray for the Soares twin, um, Javon and Javon. The time that we see Javon, but we're not seeing Javon. Amen. If you know them differently, praise God. There are times when um, Javon will sit around the keyboard, but Javon is not there. They're twins. We like to see both of them in church. Amen. Praise God. So we need to remember to pray for them. Amen. The Soares twin. 
Brother Richard Dunn. Amen. I want to pray for Brother Richard. He's been going through, you know, trials and testing. So remember to pray for Brother Richard Dunn. Chris and May and her mother. Chris and is here today. I want to pray for Chris and May and that God will bring about stability for both her and her mother and they can stand firm in Christ. Also want to pray for all the members of this community that attends this church. You know yourself, you're a member of this community and you are a member of this assembly. I want to pray for you, amen, that you will shine the light in this community as a good representative of Christ. Amen. Shine the light. Praise God. Brother Aston Reed and Sister Carol Predegas and Sister Beecher. Sister Hutchings is here. Amen. We need to anoint Sister Hutchings too. She just married her daughter, one of her daughters, and we need, she's still going through a time of bereavement. Um, we need to pray for her and all those who are still feeling the pain of losing a loved one. Brother Rose is asking the church to pray for is a Certy Lee Rose who has stage four cancer. Anybody believe God? Anybody believe God can heal stage four cancer? Anybody believe God? Say amen. amen. We have heard testimonies of those who had stage four cancer. And the Lord, they're still alive today. Just recently, in the Thanksgiving service of Sister Latoya, a lady testified she had stage four cancer. And she's still alive. Praise God. God had healed her. So I believe God through the testimony of others and the word of the Lord. Amen. We're going to ask those who you didn't ask for the anointing oil. But if you are feeling sick in your body and you believe the Lord can heal you through the touch of the minister with the oil. Praise God. I'm going to ask you to come. Amen. And be anointed with oil and we will pray for you. Amen. You're going through a, a period of, of illness and you're believing God. Maybe it's your high that you, you, you're not seeing so well. Maybe the ears, you're not hearing so well. You're going, going older. Amen. Thank God that you remember the creator in the days of your youth that now, praise God, we want you to go a little further. Amen. So we want to anoint you and pray for you. Amen. Praise be to God. Let's take, we want to take the time to go before the Lord. Amen. We don't rush. Amen. We want to just meditate and take the time of, to go before the Lord in prayer. And, and just to see who among us Amen. Really need the strength of the Lord. Praise God to continue. Glory be to God. All of us need prayer. Whether it's one thing or another. Whether it's financial, marital, family issue, issue at the workplace. Now we must understand that we're in a battle and the enemy is not letting up. Amen. And but we must win this battle. We must win this fight. Amen. That we're in. We're not going to lay down and die. Whatever it takes, we're going to make it. Praise God. We are going to fight to the end. We're not going to allow the enemy to defeat us. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Whether it's your relative overseas or in Jamaica, praise God. 
And remember that this week we are going to seek the lost souls. Amen. We are, our hands, our, our feet are going to work. Praise God. Our mouth is going to work. All part of the body is going to work this week. Amen. To win a soul to Christ. Praise be to God. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for favors. Thank you for grace. The same grace that Noah found in the eyes of the Lord. We have that grace today. Praise God. The same grace that saved Noah and his family. We have that grace today. The same grace. Grace will always abound. Grace will always abound. Iniquity shall abound, but grace always abound. We have so much grace and favor from the Lord. We are his people. We are his people. And tell yourself that I belong to Jesus. And we are his people and the sheep is pastor. And he did say, enter into his gates with thanksgiving and into his courts with praise. No service should be just like another service. Praise God. No service should be to us ordinary. Praise be to God. We should not just come and sit, uh, but we should come and give. We should give up our worship, our praise, our testimony. We should share. We should give. Each time that we get an opportunity to come into the house of the Lord, we should come giving, giving, thanksgiving unto the Lord and praising him. He is great and greatly to be praised. He is our God. He is our Savior. He is our Deliverer. He is our all in all. Lord, we thank you. We thank you, God, that your eyes are still upon us. We thank you, God, that you never allow the enemy to defeat us. Lord Jesus, sometimes you move away. Oh, God, offense a little bit. Oh, God, but then you close it back again. God, we go through trials and we go through tests. Lord Jesus, but we want to pass all of these tests that we go through. Mighty God, like Abraham, oh God, passed the test when he was asked to take uh, the one that he loved and offer him as a sacrifice. Lord, we thank you, God, that you put that in the scriptures. That, oh God, we can understand that sometimes we go through trials and we go through tests. And so, God, we go through pain and we go through suffering. But God, all of these things come to make us strong. Oh God, in the name of Jesus, help us to understand that, oh God, you're not going to kill us with these trials and these tests, but it come to make us strong. Oh God, thank you for the trials that we go through. Thank you for the tests. But it, because they come to make us stronger. And if we just meditate, oh God, if we just think about it, Lord, oh God, how can Lord Jesus, I benefit from this trial that I'm going through. Oh God, you want us to press a little harder. God, you want us to pray a little bit more. God, you want us to worship some more. But God Almighty, we don't want to sit down in the same place all the time. God, we want to be lifted up. Oh God, and glorify your name name there's a list before you Lord you know all of the names before we make mention of them Lord Jesus God you look down on your children and those oh God who are standing before you in this altar those who are standing in the congregation those who are seated oh God in the congregation God we pray in the name of Jesus that every individual that come to the door, the ushers that stand and sit at the door the one oh God who sanitize the hands of those persons who come to the door mighty God every, every individual oh God the fingers that play the keyboard the individual oh God that play the drum in the name of Jesus the technical team oh God that stream the service live oh God to our viewers oh god almighty we pray god that you will anoint oh god every individual even the one that is coming oh god a little bit late to the service oh god you will feel the anointing even as they drive oh god heading in this direction the anointing will be upon them 
God that they will enter this house with a praise. Lord Jesus, oh God, help us never to take this for life. Take this lightly or take it for granted that, oh God, hallelujah, this could be your last Sunday. This could be your very last Sunday for some of us, Lord Jesus. This could be our last Sunday in this house. Help us, Lord Jesus, to recognize that tomorrow is promise to no man and to do what we need to do today. To make it right to repent of our sins oh god to ask you again because lord if we come to you confessing you are faithful and just to forgive us that is the type of god you are you are loving you're faithful you're true you're kind god you're not like us god almighty you are different in so many ways from us and god almighty if we come 10 times 20 times before you in a day oh god repent lord god you're faithful and just to forgive us god i pray that we'll see you as that type of god and oh God, we will not fear you, but we will reverence you. Oh God, and come before you, confessing, Lord Jesus, wanting to change, wanting to turn our lives around, wanting to go in a different direction, wanting to hear your voice, wanting to be led by your spirit, mighty God. The decision is in our hands, Lord. You place, oh God, your will in our hands and we have to make an ultimate decision oh god where we want to spend our eternity the choice is ours whether we want to choose you or choose false gods the choice is ours god you have given us the choice i pray that oh god all of us will choose to spend our eternity with you we will invest oh god in eternal life god none of us oh god will walk through these doors and end up in an eternal hell lord remember those oh god whose names were mentioned on the list for prayer our beloved oh god brethren our beloved sisters our beloved Let's lift our hands and worship the Lord. Let's give the Lord thanks. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. In Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord, for your healing touch. Thank you for delivering us. Thank you for blessing us, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Lord bless you. Thank you for responding. Praise God. Amen. We move into the service. Praise be to God. Hallelujah. I will bless thee, O Lord. I will bless thee, O Lord, with a heart of thanksgiving. I will bless thee, O Lord, with my hands lifted up and my mouth filled.
protection. Thank you for your provisions. Thank you, Lord, for your guidance. Hallelujah. Thank you for your strength. Hallelujah. We bless your name. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. This morning, we'll be singing from our Pentecostal hymnals, and we'll be singing hymn 272. The solid rock. Hallelujah. That's hymn 272. The solid rock. Hallelujah. We have a rock. And his name is Jesus. Hallelujah. Can we all stand as we participate in singing this hymn? As we worship those who have found it. Shout a praise. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Those who have found it, shout a praise. Hallelujah. All right. Hallelujah. My, my hope is built on nothing less than Jesus' blood and righteousness. I dare not trust. the 
Can we stand for the reading of God's word? If you have found it, say amen. amen. Okay, so we'll be reading from verse 1 to verse 15 alternately, and we'll be reading 16 and 17 together. There was a man of the Pharisees named Nicodemus, a ruler of the Jews. Jesus answered and said unto him, Verily, verily, I say unto thee, Except a man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. Jesus answered, Verily, verily, I say unto thee, Except a man be born of water and of the Spirit, he cannot enter into the kingdom of God. Marvel not that I say unto thee, ye must be born again. Mm -hmm. 
Nicodemus answered and said unto him, How can these things be? Verily, verily, I say unto thee, we speak that we do know and testify that we have seen, and ye receive not our witness. And no man hath ascended up to heaven, but he that came down from heaven, even the Son of Man which is in heaven. That whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting but sh that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have eternal life. 16 and 17 together. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. For God sent not his Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. This is the end of God's holy word, and we honor it by saying, Thanks be to God. Everybody shout a hallelujah praise to the Lord. Hallelujah. Come on, one more time. Hallelujah. Let me hear a praise from up the top there. Hallelujah. Let me hear one from over here. Hallelujah. Another one here. Hallelujah. And here. Hallelujah. Come on, man. Hallelujah. 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 Everybody shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Clap your hands to the Lord. Clap your hands to Jesus. <laughs> praise God. Praise God. Do you love him? Yes. Are you feeling the presence of the Lord in the service today? Yes, there's a beautiful presence of the Lord in the service today. And already some people have gotten their victory. Amen. And there are more victories to be had for the rest of the service. Lift your hands and say, I believe. I, believe. I want you to just smile with your neighbor. Pull the mask down just quickly and say, give a beautiful smile to your neighbor. And say hello. And then you may be seated. You don't qualify to sit till you have done that. Amen. <laughs> Praise God. Sister Samantha, where are you? Oh, great. You're coming to do the welcome and the announcements at this time. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Bless the Lord, everyone. All right, we have here Serena McDonald. Is that so? Our Dermal, sorry. Good to have you. I'm not sure the writing right here is Sister Hutchinson or Yesti Hutchinson. Yes, good to have you. Good to have you. And we have Claudette Newland. Good to have you back. Good to have you back. We have Lydia. McKinley, Lydia, uh, upstairs. upstairs, oh, hello, good to have you, <laughs> any other visitors with us, first time, second time, third time, I know I see Sister Carol's daughter, yes, I'm going to call you, <laughs> Sister Carol's daughter is here with her husband and the boys, good to have you, good to have you. All right, so I'd like to welcome everybody back to service. Anybody that wasn't here last week? Can you wave your hands? All right, good to have you back with us another Sunday morning. And can we just wave our hands to the Lord? Because he's here, he's the most important spirit here. Bless the Lord, welcome the Holy Spirit. God is good. All right, these are our our announcement for the week of November 6 to 12.
We'll be having service here this evening, started at, starting at 7 p.m. in the park. Bless the Lord. Monday Missions Convention continues in the park at 7 p.m. Bless the Lord. Tuesday Missions Convention continues where? In the park. Bless the Lord. We have to go out there and win souls. Bless the Lord. Pardon me? Okay, you want to come in? It's in the park, but where is the park? Anybody know where the park is? <laughs> it's more than one park. All right, where you turn at the junction, right up there, to turn to come up, right at the junction, you don't turn an orchid way to come up to the church. You continue straight, and the park is at the end of that road. Amen? So that park will be used for the nights of our missions convention. Amen? Is that clear? So we don't turn, come up. You go straight, and the park is right at the end. God bless. Bless the Lord, so you know where the park is now. All right. On Thursday, we call it our evangelism day where we take an hour out of the day to minister to souls. Bless the Lord. On Friday, we'll be having youth service. The link will be sent in the church WhatsApp group. On Saturday, November 12, we have prayer meeting here in the sanctuary at 7 a.m. Region 2 Children's Prayer Circle will start at, 7, at 4 p.m. And the link will be posted in the church WhatsApp group. I encourage you to let the children come on because it's always a good time. And to back up Wednesday, registration, we'll be having our day session here, and registration starts at 9 a.m. Our first day session starts at 10, and the second session will start at 11, 10. Bless the Lord. So I know you have asked, a lot of people ask for time off from work, so come out in your numbers. Men's department are in charge on the 20th of November and the 22nd, just a reminder. We, this is a thank you note. We all would like to thank you for your prayers, visits, and phone calls. Your presence was and always will be welcome from Sister Hutchinson and the rest of our family. All right, we have our upcoming events. Members meeting will be November 13th at 7 p.m. Our junior ladies established for conference, um, established for her, or co her conference. Um, the theme is her position and purposefully anointed. Sorry, her position and her purposefully anointed. Is that effect? Saturday, November 19th, 10 a.m. Venue Bethel Tabernacle, UPC, Ochi Rios. Registration is $500. If you are interested, contact Sister Crystal Taylor. Region 2 Congress, that's December 10th at 10 a.m. at Grace Tabernacle, Old Arbor. Sunday School Christmas program will be December 18th, starting at 6 30 p.m. I'm encouraging you to send out the children so we can have practices with them. Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. So invite your neighbor, send out the children. Bless the Lord. Mentorship is here to, to stay. Are you involved? If no is your answer, speak with Sister Trudy and Kelly, Darian Kelly, Sister Anna K. Rogers, Minister Joan Russell. To be a mentor is very important. It can change a child's life, a young person's life. Bless the Lord. Okay. All right. So, Ascot 
high school will be having their anniversary and they would want to have it here. I believe it's either the 20th or the 22nd, one of those dates. The date will be announced. All right, bless the Lord. So this, these announcements will be posted right down the bottom so you can check them out to write off the information. If you need to, you can take a picture so it will last you throughout the week. Bless the Lord. Do have yourself a wonderful rest of the week. Oh, all right. So we're going to be collecting an offering now. Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord, everyone. By the look of my face, I am sad, praise God, because we are just discovering that there will be an event on the Sugarman Beach this afternoon. Amen. And you know when they have their event, what happened. Praise God. Um, we just double-checked a while ago. We were coming up. We saw the sign. And we thought it was yesterday, but when we double-checked, we heard that it was today, and it started 2 p.m. Um, we were planning to go out in the community tonight, praise God, to start our missions convention, but we will decide to go online, amen, in the Zoom platform. So persons who have been contacted to be a part of the service, you are still a part of the service. Amen. The service will still run according to the program. Amen. The preacher will still preach according to the program, but we will now go online. Praise be to God. Everybody have a link. Everybody is connected that they can get a link to the service. Those who don't have a connection, those who are not on WhatsApp, can I see your hand? You're not on the church WhatsApp, amen? So you won't be able to get a link to the service. Put up your hand. We will get it. Put up your hand, please. Can you just stick up your hand, those persons who are not there? Can you just hold up your hand a little bit? I, I'm seeing Sister Cohen. Is that Sister Ailes? Sister Ailes, and Sister Clark, Sister Minute, anybody else? You, do, you, you don't have a link. Sister McDonald, don't have a link. You don't have, you're not connected to the WhatsApp. All right, tell you what. We're going to ask Usher to send around a piece of paper to you. Amen. One of the ushers, please get a piece of paper. Sister Melissa, can you do that? Sister Get a piece of paper and take the, name, take the name and the number of all these persons who are not in our WhatsApp group. So when the link goes out, they can connect to the service this evening. Amen. Are we truthful? Are we truthful in the house of the Lord? Those, let me see the hands again. Of those you don't, you're not connected to the church WhatsApp group. So therefore, you will be at home this evening without... Uh, being on the service. Let me see your hands. All right, just a minute. The same set of persons. All right, so everybody else here connected to the group. Praise God. So just give your name to the usher and we will, you will receive the link. Praise God. Amen. And we are looking out because we can know who is a part of the service. So we are looking out to see as much persons as possible. Amen. To be a part of the service. Praise be to God. Thank you, Jesus. So we start at 7. Amen. The link will be sent out early so you can come on on time. It's still Missions Convention. We're still excited. We are going to be in our homes. We're still excited to singing and, and so forth. Praise be to God. So it's just that this event, you know.
We're back in line Monday. We will be in the park Monday and Tuesday, God willing. And we'll be in the sanctuary on Wednesday, day session, and Wednesday night to, find, to the final night of our missions convention. God bless you. Praise the Lord, everyone. We're in strange time in the history of church. But, you, but uh, let me further express that based on what was described when they, one of, the, sir, one of the, the parties that they had on the beach, some of our brethren were exposed. Uh, quite possible, you know, based on what transpired last time, we would want not to repeat to endanger any one of us. And so, you know, there were brush, brushes for our brethren in terms of accident, the reckless use of the road during the time. So this is one of the reasons why we, we pull back. So next time we, we have to pray that these forces don't rise up against the church. Amen? Amen. Praise God, praise God, praise God. But let me highlight that we were asked to, to conduct the service, the anniversary service for Ascot High School. And two dates been considered based on communication, our internal communication. Um, the 20th, which is slated for the men's service, we will facilitate and then a request we told them we could facilitate the 27, but because that information was given, we are to be able to get back the decision of the church of the school board. So as soon as we can verify, but definitely in the month of November, they will be asking us to to have the service, and we are told that the capacity of that school or the current status in terms of the attendance of students, 1,200 students. So we are anticipating that on that particular day, the Minister of Education and various dignitaries, the staff and all such parties will be participating in the service. So we want you to pray much for that service, pray much for those young persons, that indeed, when the conclusion of the service, that many Lives will be so impacted in terms of the outpouring of the Holy Spirit. And many will request water baptism in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. So we want you to talk to the Lord concerning this service. Amen? Amen? Praise God. We can fill this church out with young people. And so we're looking forward to that moment. Praise God. Let's lift our hands again and thank the Lord. In spite of the challenges that we are going through. Indeed, we are going to come through. This church won't be defeated. Praise God. The God of heaven has established this church. And the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. Praise God. Praise God. We are going to take an offering for the Lord. And we have Patty and Mont, um, Conferences coming up. And let me, you know... Uh, we have been uh, on Zoom and various uh, arrangements for conference. But this conference coming up in February, we will be back at the campsite. Praise God. We are going back to the campsite. Uh, we are going to be having Holy Ghost rally right there too. So get persons who have not yet received the Holy Ghost. We bring them to the campsite and see them receiving the Holy Ghost. Praise God. Amen. Let's bow our heads as we ask Brother Rogers, bigger Rogers, to pray God's blessing on the offering. And the older Roger, like praise God, praise God. Most righteous and heavenly Father, Lord Jesus, we give you thanks. We give you praise, Lord Jesus. I thank you for waking us up this morning. You didn't have to wake us up, but you did, Lord Jesus. And as we come into your house, Lord Jesus, in worship, not in just praise and worship, but in tithe, mission, and offering, we ask them to bless those that have to give. Those that have not, Lord Jesus, we ask them to provide for them. Oh, God, in this time, 
Lord Jesus, we give you the praise, the glory, and the honor which join to you in the name which is above every other name. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen, amen. Praise God. Let's watch the direction of the ushers. And let's come still. We're hearing still that people are, risk, people are still getting COVID. So we still need to be careful. Praise God. Sister Crystal is coming to minister and so. I've lost some good friends along life's way. Some loved ones departed in heaven to stay. But thank God I didn't lose everything. I've lost faith in people who said they cared. But in times of my crisis, they were never there. But in my disappointment, in my season of pain, one thing never wavered, one everybody. I never lost my joy. Never lost my praise. Amen. Never lost my faith. Hallelujah. I'm still standing. Still striving in the Lord. Hallelujah. Still victorious. Despite every trial and every tribulation. Let's just lift our hands and thank the Lord for these songs of Zion. 
Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. We're going to be um, making a very special presentation to two of our recent graduates from the new converts class. So I'm going to ask their teacher to come at this time in the person of Minister Anthony Bryson to make these very special presentations. Praise the Lord, everyone. Praise the Lord Jesus, everyone. Praise God. Hallelujah. If you missed out on the right hand of fellowship, you know, you missed an event that was very important in someone's life. Praise God. But we're going to make up to, not, to this morning. I'd had two persons that I'd selected that I wanted to go give a special award because of their effort. Praise the Lord. Praise God. God is a good God. And he has taught us to acknowledge and to reward those that have done good in his kingdom. So I call upon someone who is always here and is very early. So we give an award. It says to New Convert for 2022 Excellent Award to Sister Marlene Wallin for punctuality and attendance. Thank you. Praise God. Praise God. And also for our new convert, if there was ever a new convert of the year election, I would nominate this young man. New convert for 2022, excellent award for brother Nicholas Gordon for his service. Praise God. Continue. Praise God. Thank you. Remember to pray for them, to be there for them. God bless. And I tell you, we have each time the Lord provides new converts, and we need to cover them. Praise the Lord. There are others that are doing well, so let's pray for them in Jesus' name. Let's just lift our hands and worship God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. He has been so faithful to us. Come on, close your eyes and just spend a few moments just worshiping the Lord while sitting down. Just worship him. Thank you, Jesus. We bless your name, oh God. We honor you. You're such a great God. You're so wonderful, oh God. You've been so good, so kind, so loving, so understanding, so compassionate, so merciful, oh God, the God of another chance and another chance. We worship you, Lord Jesus. We honor you, Lord. You are great and your faithfulness is great. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Praise God. And we are now going to have our mission theme, Marching In. Hallelujah. As we are about to open Missions Convention 2022, let me hear the people of God shout the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Come on, people of God. Shout the name of Jesus after the count of... After the count of two, I want you to do it again. One, two. Yeah. What a lovely name. One, two. Turn, sinner, turn. Why won't you turn? Where will you spend your long eternity? Long eternity is drawing near at hand. Long eternity is drawing near at hand. So turn, sinner, turn. Why won't you turn? Where will you spend your long eternity? For long eternity is drawing near at hand. 
long eternity is drawing near at hand. Turn, sinner, turn. Why won't you turn? Where will you spend your long eternity? Long eternity is drawing near at hand. Long eternity is drawing near at hand. So turn, sinner, turn. Why won't you turn? Where will you spend your long eternity? Long eternity is drawing near at hand. Long eternity is drawing near at hand. Turn, sinner, turn. Why won't you turn? Where will you spend your long eternity? Long eternity is drawing near at hand. Long eternity is drawing near at hand. So just turn, sinner, turn. Why won't you turn? Where will you spend your long eternity? Long eternity is drawing near at hand. Long eternity is drawing near at hand. Turn, sinner, turn. Why won't you turn? Where will you spend your long eternity? Oh, long eternity. It's drawing near at hand. Long eternity. It's drawing near at hand. So turn, sinner, turn. Why won't you turn? Where will you spend your long eternity? Long eternity. It's drawing near at hand. Long eternity is drawing near at hand. So turn, sinner, turn. Why won't you turn? Where will you spend your long eternity? Long eternity is drawing near at hand. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Praise God. Let's clap our hands unto the Lord. Praise God, praise God, praise God. And we are going to have an exciting missions convention 2022. Praise God. And the theme for missions convention, we're going to say, Eternal life is a solid investment. Can we say it together? Eternal life is a solid investment. Praise God. Praise God. There's no better investment. There is no better investment. There is absolutely no better investment. And to invest 
in eternal life. Praise God. And you know the Lord Jesus Christ promised us that he's gone to prepare a place for us. And he's going to come back to receive us unto himself. Praise God. Praise God. So I take the pleasure today to open Missions Convention 2022. We anticipate great, great revival. Great revival. We anticipate to see some things that we have not yet seen. We're going to see a remarkable move of the spirit and power of our God. Praise God. Let's lift our hands and salute him. King of kings and Lord of lords. Convention 2022. God bless you in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Let us all stand, everybody. Hallelujah. Stand all over this place and shout the theme again. Shout the theme again. One, two. for eternal life. Hallelujah. Let's thank him. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Don't sit as yet. You all sit so easily. Come on. We are in the house of God. We are here to work, to worship. Amen. Not to rest. Amen. Come on, children. Stand up, everybody. Stand up, everybody. All the children, stand up. Amen. Come on. You're young and strong. I understand those who can. Those children there, um, Sister Fabiana and Sister Gabrielle, please stand, my friends. And that young lady before there, everybody stand. Praise God. I want us to think about the period of time between last year missions convention and this year missions convention. Listen carefully now. I want you to try to remember something special that the Lord has done for you. Between last year convention, we had a great time, right? You remember that? We had a great time. And this year, today, think about it. Can you think of one special thing? I know it maybe did a lot, but something very special that the Lord did for you, put up your hand when you can think of it. A prayer he answered, some danger he, he rescued you from, and you're so thankful. Near death experience, come on, put up your hand if you can remember. He made a way, there was no way, your back was against the wall, and God made a way. He provided for you one day when you didn't know you were going to pay that bill. You didn't know where you are going to get a job, but the Lord provided that. Come on, lift your hands right now. Amen. Praise God. So there are a lot of us who have that testimony. So I'm going to allow you to use one minute to thank Jesus for what he did. That special thing between last year convention and this year convention. You have one minute to shout the kind of praise that you love to give to the Lord. All of us have our special way to praise God. Amen. And we praise God differently sometimes. Amen. So I want you to choose your special praise and forget about everybody right now. Just give Jesus this one minute. I'll tell you when to stop. So you're going to start after the count of three to just shout some praises to God from your heart so that God say, yes, my child appreciates me. My child appreciates what I have done for her, what I have done for him. Hallelujah. Glory to God. So for count of three, just start Praising God. One, two, three. Yeah. Hallelujah. Bless the Lord. Oh, my soul and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Glory to God. Glory to Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. I'm alive today, oh God. You did it for me, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, 
Lord Jesus. Glory to God. You're wonderful, Lord. You're wonderful, Jesus. You're worthy, Jesus. We honor you, Lord. We give you glory. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. And you see, because you praise him, I believe that between this convention and the other one, he's going to do something bigger for you. Hallelujah. Something bigger. Hallelujah. We want to just thank him in advance. This wonderful, wonderful God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. You may be seated if you can. And just before Sister Jody and Taylor comes to lead us in a time of worship, and we're going to worship God, amen, from our hearts. Uh, we're going to be allowing one of our new musicians, one of our new young mu musicians under the Youth Empowerment Program to come and to worship uh, with the saxophone, right? Oh, it's not the saxophone. <laughs> the what? The recorder. Oh, I'm sorry. So another day we'll, we'll, we'll have somebody with the saxophone. Amen? <laughs> so she's coming with the recorder to worship God to show you what she has learned so far. Amen? God, praise God, praise God. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. And let me tell you, you ain't seen nothing yet. Hallelujah, because I am told that in December, you'll have the group being trained to play the saxophone, really worshiping God with the saxophone in December. Amen? So we are really looking forward to that. And I just want to encourage the members of this church to support the youth empowerment program and all the projects that we are rolling out for our young people. God has already started to do some great work. How can you help? Send out your children to the Tuesday prayer meeting at 7 o'clock to 7.45. Send them out. They can do the homework after or before for school. It's just once for the week. Make sure they're online. You should hear the little children praying in that prayer meeting. They're learning to pray. If you want to save your children from what is going on right now, the destruction of our children, send them out so they learn to pray. Amen, everybody. Praise God. And then also, 
you can encourage them to learn to play a musical instrument because soon we're going to start training uh, to play the keyboard, to play the drum, to play the guitar. Amen, everybody? And also, what else am I leaving out that they need? To, the, the, the mentorship program. We need more mentors. I have a friend in here that I need to talk to after the service to ask her to be one of the mentors. If you, are not, if you have not signed up yet as a mentor and you know that you can do a good job, then come and give us your names. Amen? Because God has been doing great things already through the mentorship program. Do you know the Lord has opened the door for us to go national with the mentorship program? Yes, the Lord opened that door. They have asked us to prepare something so that every church in Jamaica, lift your hands and worship God, will have the mentorship program that we have in this church. And we now have a manual to guide. Amen? So we are going to now be a blessing. So God bless you all. God bless you all. We are going to be worshiping the Lord now. Sister Jody and Taylor is coming. Let's all stand. Hallelujah. Shake off the tiredness, the laziness. Shake it off, the sleepiness. Amen? And start preparing to run and jump and skip. Somebody shout, it's convention time! Convention time. So even those of us who are up in age, we are going to move today. Amen? Come on, everybody stand in the house of God. Come on, man. We are going to worship God. Clap your hands to the Lord. If you know the Lord is keeping you, what you gonna worry about? If you know the Lord is keeping you, why won't you sing and shout? Glory, hallelujah, praise his name. Every day he's just the same. If you know the Lord is keeping you, what you gonna worry about? If you know the Lord is keeping you, what you want to worry about? If you know the Lord is keeping you, why won't you sing and shout? Glory, hallelujah, praise his name. Every day he's just the same. If you know the Lord is keeping you, what you want to worry about? If you know the Lord is keeping you, What's it gonna worry about? And if you know the Lord is keeping you, why won't you sing and shout? Glory, hallelujah, praise his name. Every day he's just the same. If you know the Lord is keeping you, what's it gonna worry about? Hallelujah, hallelujah. Can you just lift our hands and magnify the Lord? Hallelujah, hallelujah. God is good, hallelujah. He keeps and he saves and he satisfies. Hallelujah. Can you testify of that this morning? Just lift your hands. If you know he's keeping you, hallelujah. We bless you, Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah. I have somebody with me to bear my heavy load. I feel his presence near me every day. Don't trouble overtake 
I just want to encourage a young person this morning. He's able to save. He's able to keep. He's able to satisfy. I was 13 years old when the Lord saved me. And I can't even tell him my age. But God is good. He has kept me over 20 years. And I'm still in the presence of the Lord. It could have been otherwise. Hallelujah. But God kept me. Hallelujah. Can we just lift our hands? Uh, if you know that's your testimony this morning, that he kept you and he's still keeping you. Hallelujah. Over 20, over 30. It's not of yourself this morning, but it's God keeping us. Hallelujah. We could have been mad. Hallelujah. We could have been dead. Hallelujah. But he's still keeping us in our right mind this morning. Hallelujah, we have so much to give God thanks for. Just mere salvation. Hallelujah, I'm just giving God thanks for saving my soul at that tender age. Hallelujah, if it wasn't for the Lord on my side, where would I be? Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Oh, it's not a joke this morning, but God is keeping us. 
is keeping us and he's gonna keep us if you just trust in him hallelujah before we hand over we're gonna sing this song you made a way hallelujah when our backs were against the wall you probably remember a time when you felt like giving up hallelujah when you felt like committing suicide but god kept you hallelujah and he made a way when there seemed to be no way hallelujah hallelujah we're gonna sing that song believing and thanking god for what he has done and for what he's gonna do in our lives hallelujah you made a You may be seated. Hallelujah. I just want to tell somebody here today, if you have not yet given your life to the Lord, Jesus Christ, tomorrow is not promised to anyone, and we're imploring you to give your life today. Amen? Yes, amen. Hallelujah.
stand, everybody. Let's all stand. Nothing as wonderful as knowing the Lord Jesus, whom to know is life eternal. And in this atmosphere, so ably prepared by the power of the Holy Ghost in this sanctuary, it is my pleasure to introduce to you the handmaiden of the Lord who has been chosen to speak thus said the Lord today. We ask her to come right now in the person of Sister Anarchy Rogers. Lift your hands and worship the Lord as she comes. Lift your hands and just worship the Lord as she comes. Yes. Hallelujah. Stretch your hands towards the handmaiden of the Lord right now. Father, we thank you so much for this climate that you have prepared for your word to be delivered in mighty God. Our hearts are upon you and our minds are upon you, Jesus. And so our hearts are ready to receive whatever you have to say through your servant. So Lord, anoint her from the crown of her head to the soles of her feet. Anoint the lips of clay and let her speak as your oracle today. And I pray that chains will be broken and deliverances will take place and souls will be saved. In your matchless name we pray. Let all the people say, Amen. Thank you. Praise ye the Lord. Let's just lift our hands one more time. Let us just bless the Lord. Hallelujah. We serve a great and mighty God. Hallelujah. I'm glad that he came into my life one very special day glory be to God I was 19 years old hallelujah 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 glory be to God thank you Jesus hallelujah blessed be the name of the Lord this morning before you take your seats I'm asking you please to turn with me in your Bibles to St. Luke chapter 12 verse 13 to 21 and while you find the scripture I just want to take the opportunity to just welcome those persons who are listening to us via social media praise the Lord we are happy to have you praise God and just want to welcome all of God's wonderful people to his house praise God we are here to worship the Lord praise God St. Luke chapter 12, reading from 13 to 21. And one of the company said unto him, Master, speak to my brother that he divide the inheritance with me. And he said unto him, Man, who made me a judge or a divider over you? And he said unto them, Take heed and beware of covetousness, for a man's life consisteth not in the abundance of the things which he possesseth. And he spake a parable unto him, then saying, The ground of a certain rich man brought forth plentifully. And he thought within himself, saying, What shall I do? Because I have no room where to bestow my fruits. And he said, this will I do. I will pull down my barns and build greater, and there will I bestow all my fruits and my goods. And I will say to my soul, soul, thou hast much goods laid up for many years. Take thine ease, eat, 
drink and be merry. But God said unto him, Thou fool, this night thy soul shall be required of thee. Then whose shall those things be which thou hast provided? Praise the Lord. Um, verse 21, sorry. So is he that layeth up treasure for himself and is not rich toward God. Praise the Lord. You may be seated. Praise God. I'm going to be reading another passage of scripture in your hearing. Matthew 6, 19 to 21. Lay not up for yourselves treasures upon earth, where moth and rust, rust doth corrupt, and where thieves break through and steal. But lay up for yourselves treasures in heaven, where neither moth nor rust doth corrupt, and where thieves do not break through nor steal. For where your treasure is, there your heart will be also. Praise God. Now, our theme, the theme for Missions Convention this year is eternal life is a solid investment. I want you to turn to the person who is sitting beside you and say the theme. Come on. All right, we're going to say it again. You're going to say it like you believe it. Eternal life is a solid investment. Praise the Lord. Praise God. Now, you know, from time to time, we hear about investments. A couple of weeks ago, some representatives from... Sadcore Bank came to my, my workplace and they, they were talking to us about investment. And of course, I have always wanted to know more about investment because I want to invest. At this stage in my life, I think I want a little more than what the bank's giving me, eh? So I want to make the money, make money for me. Yeah. Right. And so I solicited one of them and I said, come on, come and talk to me about investment. And so I learned a few things about investment. And so when I got this topic, I said, my God, I need to look at how the persons, the investors out there in the world operate as opposed to how we operate. So let's talk about investment. What is an investment? It is said that an investment requires putting capital to work in the form of time, money, effort, and so on, in the hopes of a greater payoff in the future than what was originally put in. That's what they say an investment is. So you put in something today with the hope of getting more in the future. That is what an investment is. And they told me that, you know, I have all kinds of investment, different types of investments. You have stocks, you have bonds, mutual funds, real estate, commodities, and all manner of investments. And so I start to ask a question, you know, so when is the right time to invest? And I was told, you know, it's best if you invest when you're young. Because the return would be greater. You understand? But at my age, you no. Know, but I can't still invest at my age, you know. But it would have been better if I had invested when I was early, when I was younger. Praise ye the Lord. Praise God. Now, I also learned that investment comes with risk. Yes, it comes with risk. There is no guarantee 
that you're going to be getting a greater interest on or anything for that matter on what you put in. Look at that. There is no guarantee it's a risk. It's a risk, but nonetheless, persons take this risk. Amen? Praise ye the Lord. It is important for us to know, though, that all of us invest. Whether we believe it or not, we invest every day. For example, we're investing in our education. That's an investment. That's an investment. Because the aim is, so, okay, I'm going to invest in this degree or this um, diploma with the hope that at the end of the day, I will be able to get a promotion. Some greater returns. Or some more money. Is that so? Yes. If I should say, you know what? I have a little money and I'm going to invest it. I'm going to buy a taxi and put it on the road. Run the Elsha route. Yes. Run the Elsha route. My aim is that I'm supposed to get more. Is that so? Yes. I have I aim. I want more than what I put in. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. But in this life, it's very uncertain. It's very uncertain. So I ask a question to the investor. What makes a solid investment? And so the investor says to me, you will have to look at the performance of that, whatever it is, stock or the bonds or whoever. Look at the performance. Look at the returns. Look at the history. Look at the history. Glory be to God. There are many times I remember I have a friend and she, when we went to um, university together, she was a little ahead of me. And when everything was said and done, she held up the paper. This is what it amounts to. Eat this. She was just so disappointed. All the hard work. Sleepless nights. Just a little paper. Praise ye the Lord. Glory be to God. We want to talk about solid investments. Solid investments. So we invest every day. Whether we are investing in our careers, our education, our children, trying to grow them up into the fear of the Lord. Whether we are investing in building a strong marriage. We invest every day. We invest. All of us. We do some kind of investment. Praise ye the Lord. Now I spoke about the risk. Glory be to God. And I want to go to this man in St. Luke 12, 13 to 21. A, man, a man's land produces an abundance of crops. This is a man. More than he can store. His solution is to tear down his barns and build bigger ones. To hold the surplus so he can sit back and enjoy life. The word of God states that the Lord said he was a fool. Thou fool. This man, he made an investment. He made an investment in a business venture. This business venture was prosperous. It yielded a lot. To the point where the man said, listen, I'm going to expand my business. Because business are gone. Business are gone. Now this morning, I don't want, us to, don't want you to get me wrong. Invest. Yes, invest. But don't be a fool in investing. We need to invest in what is important. 
Glory be to God. And what is important is eternal life. Glory be to God. That's where we need to invest. Praise ye the Lord. So do all your investing. But don't leave out what really matters. And what really matters is, in, is eternal life. Praise ye the Lord. This man made this business investment and it yielded fruit in his life. He had much goods. Business was growing. He pulled down a barn, put up barns. As we would say, probably if it was today, he would be extending, going into different branches, different um, parishes. Probably he's going into Bar um, Barbados, different areas, a region, and then going to Canada. Glory be to God, because business was booming. He was doing so well to the point where he didn't have to wait until he reached retirement age. He didn't have to wait because he was doing well. So he could retire early. And that's what he did. In his mind, I'm going to retire early. I'm going to ease back. Take my ease. Watch the money make money for me. Live it up. Have a good time. But the word of God tells us that the Lord said, Thou fool, because tonight your soul is required of thee. And the word of God said, Then all of these things that you store up, who going to get them? Who going to sit in that big mansion? Who going to sleep in that big master bed? Who going to be in that jacuzzi? Who? Mighty God. How we invest our time is crucial. You know, when I think of this message, Persons may think of just the unsaved. But I thought of the saved. I thought of myself. Praise ye the Lord. And I believe that one of the things that God would want me to, and with the help of God, I want to, to, to birth it out, you know. You know, I thought of the, the men who got the talents. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. The men who got the talents. Praise God. You know, God has given us time. Glory to God. And if you should look at that parable, one got five, one got two, one got one. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. And when I look at that, I want to think about the time that God has given us. Some of us, we are going to get 25 years, some 70, some six. What are we going to use the time to do? How are we going to invest our time? Glory to God. How are we investing our time? The time that God has given to us. There was something common. They got time. They got time. I want to say to somebody this morning. Time you have in your hand. Use your time wisely. Invest it in the kingdom of God. I remember what a year or so ago when my father was very sick. And I started, it was COVID. My father lived in Canada. I'm living in Jamaica. And COVID raging. And he's sick. And we could not travel to go and see him. And I remember they would set up the phone in his room so we could see and speak to him. I started to have a conversation with him. And I was just talking to God and said, God, I wonder if them could have just set up a bathtub 
in the room. Somebody can baptize him. I said, God, me stay up on the phone and me, me do the baptism. I asked my husband. Yes. You understand? And I was just talking to God. And you know, the Lord responded to me. Oh, Lobo Shatter. And you know what the Lord said? Remember now thy creator in the days of thy youth. Glory be to God. I move off same time God talked to me. Glory. Hallelujah. When my husband came home, I said the same thing that I was saying to God, to him. He quoted the same scripture to me. Remember now the creator in the days of thy youth. I shut up. I said, Jesus. Glory be to God. I said, Jesus. I'm saying to somebody today. God has given you time. I don't know how many time he has given you. He is a timekeeper. Time is, you know, our time is in his hands. I don't know. But while you have time, you are listening to me. And this message is not new. How are you investing your time? Glory. How are you investing your time? Have you invested your time in securities that are solid and sure? Glory to God. You know what I love about this investment? It is secure. It is sure. It is solid. Glory to God. You know, there are some persons who invested in banks. And you, you know, and as I said, don't get me wrong. Don't say don't invest in them because I invest in them too. But guess what? We have seen where, as I said, if these investments are ri risky. Banks fail, don't it? Yes. A couple of years ago, we, you know, we experienced some of that. Persons lost millions, some persons. Because some financial institutions went under and went under with the money. Praise the Lord. But I want to talk about when we invest in eternal life. We have a God. He can't go under. Praise the Lord. That investment is secure. And it is sure to bring forth fruit. Glory be to God. When we're investing in God. Hallelujah. It is secure. Praise the Lord. That investment is secure. Now I want to talk a little to those persons who are hearing me in social media. And those of you who are here and you have not made an investment in eternal life. That means you have not repented of your sins. You have not repented of your sins. You are not born again. I want to speak to you for a few moments. When you make an investment, glory be to God, you have to deposit something. So no matter how much I know BNS or GMMB or NCB, and I know a lot about it, Glory be to God. I do my research and all of those things. If I don't deposit something, no investment has been made. Glory be to God. Similarly, you'll hear some person say, boy, I read my Bible and I say my prayers, my prayer. Yeah. But they have that invested in eternal life. They know a lot about the Lord. They know a lot about the Lord. 
but have not committed themselves to the Lord. When I thought about this scripture, the word that came to me was St. John 3 verse 16. And I thought about the message. This is one of the scriptures that came to me. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life, eternal life. When we believe in Jesus, and not just believing, believing means action, doing something. With that belief, believing means repenting of your sins, being born again. That's what believing means, because we're believing in this resurrection, what he did, that salvation plan, that work that he did on Calvary. When we believe it, we act it. Glory be to God. That's what believing is. We act it. We must believe. But what is believing? What is believing? If I believe that Jesus Christ died for me, why don't I accept the salvation plan? Repent of your sins if you believe. That's what it means. Be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of your sins. The Lord promised to fill you with the Holy Ghost. Praise ye the Lord. That's what believing is. No, that is the beginning of your investment. You now would have deposited something. That's the beginning. So knowing about God, I'm going to read my Bible, I'm going to say my prayers. You don't start the investment process yet. Not start yet. I know, I know about NCB, yeah. You have one branch out of Portmore there. Yeah, and Scotia. Let me know about Scotia. But I haven't started the investment yet until I deposit my money. The investment can't start. Glory be to God. I want to say to somebody, you have been putting off investing in eternal life. You are investing in so many things. You invest in your education. Glory be to God. You invest in family. You invest in material things. Glory be to God. So many things you're investing in. But you're leaving out the thing that really matters. And that's your eternal life. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. One of the wonderful things about investing in eternal life. Glory to God. Is that there is a reward. <laughs> Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. It's a reward. Hallelujah. No thief can steal it. It can get rusty. Glory be to God. No judge can grow up on it. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. So even though the trials and the testings, glory be to God, may come. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Your reward is great. So you make that investment down here. Glory be to God. The reward, hallelujah, is greater. Paul said, you know, Paul went through while he was even in prison. He spoke about, you know, I fought a good fight. Hallelujah. Finished my course. And, you know, henceforth is laid up for me. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. And he spoke about those great things that's awaiting him. Hallelujah. I want to tell you that the reward is sure. The reward is sure. I heard our pastor spoke about it this morning. That the Lord promised that he's going away to prepare a place for us. The reward is sure. Our God, this investor, hallelujah, hallelujah. What he has, not give us 
six four and nine, you know. The word of God says he's gone to prepare a place for us. And I believe it and that settles it for me. I believe it and that settles it. Glory be to God. You know, I want to say something. There are a lot of things that, you know, during the past couple of years, we have lost so many. We have lost saints, probably relatives. And it has really led me to read scriptures about death. Hallelujah, mighty God. Been reading the scriptures about death a lot. And I remember December coming would be one year that my aunt died. But God has been, you know, when you, the word of God has been such a comfort. Such a comfort. And it has helped me to understand that death here is not final. I've read it in the Bible. Absent from this body, we are present with the Lord. Glory be to God. And it's the word of God has helped to dry my tears. Hallelujah. Because I bring forth a better understanding of what is going on. For me to understand more about eternal life. When I believe on this man Christ Jesus. And I repented of my sins. And I made an investment to a heavenly kingdom. I have secured my soul. Yo, Sanda. Glory to God. I started to understand a little better. So some of us who have lost some loved ones, dry your tears. Glory to God. Glory to God. Jesus. Hallelujah. But those of us, those persons... Who have not invested into eternal life. Mighty God. Mighty God. You have no eternal life after you die here. But eternal damnation. Seek ye first. The kingdom of God. And all his righteousness. All these things will be added unto you. Invest in what really matters. Invest in God's kingdom. Invest in eternal life. And as I prepared, I reckon that this eternal life is Jesus Christ. Invest in him. Hallelujah. How you invest in him? Repent of your sins. Don't play the fool. Don't put it off for another day. Because you don't know about tomorrow. Do it now. Run. Invest in eternal life. Glory be to God. It's a solid investment. No barita can beat it. Glory be to God. Solid investment. I want to speak to the saints. You have made an investment. Guard your investment. You shut up. Guard it. Don't get careless. Keep investing. Every day. Keep investing. Don't take your ease and say, boy, a long time me a witness. Make one of them young people a witness, yeah. You know, from when me a give out tracks. You know, from when? For them time now. Why make them missions department do it, yeah? Make them missions department do it. 
Glory be to God. You know, what we're doing with our time. What are we using our time to do? What are we using our time to do? Am I using my time to read the word of God so that I can build up my knowledge about God so I can pour into someone else? What am I using my time to do? When we read the word of God, we are investing in eternal life. Because the Lord is going to send someone that we can teach the word of God or show them or encourage them. When we avail ourselves, we are investing in the kingdom of God. We're investing in eternal life because we'll save a life from eternal damnation. We're investing. You know, I remember, I believe it was in the COVID period, and you see that sister who came up and collected the, that award? Sister Wallen, praise ye the Lord. I remember, I remember what happened. I believe her husband was ill. Yes. Somebody invested their time and went there to pray. Glory. Somebody invested their time. And went there to pray. And in doing that, this precious soul came to know the Lord. Came to know the Lord. Came to know the Lord. We have to invest our time. We have to invest it. Only what is done for Christ will last. So no matter how much accolades and this and that, it's going to be left right here. It's going to be left right here. So we talk about building up treasures on earth. But the Lord wants us to build treasures in heaven. Build our treasures in heaven. Bible talks about where your treasure is, there your heart is. So you'll be thinking about, how am I going to build Sunday school? How, how many children I can carry? You're investing in eternal life. Who, who, who are going to send a text to this person, tell them about? I'm going to take a picture and WhatsApp it up this track. We're investing. Use the time wisely. Use the time wisely. Praise ye the Lord. The returns are great when we invest in eternal life. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Earthly treasures have a way of disappearing. No matter how risk-free we may think they are. They succumb to recession, depression, inflation, business failures. Bank failures, crippling diseases. When we place our treasures, hallelujah, in the wrong place. But eternity, hallelujah, investing in eternity, eternal life is a solid investment. It yields eternal rewards. Glory be to God. When I look at the track record of my God, hallelujah, it brings for positive performance. Hallelujah, hallelujah. I look at the strong performance over the years. Hallelujah, I compare it to Marita. Hallelujah, I compare it to Grace. Cannot be compared. Cannot be compared. Glory be to God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Matthew 6, 19 reminds us, lay not up for yourselves treasures upon earth where moth and rust doth corrupt, where thieves break through and steal. 
but lay up for yourselves treasures in heaven where neither moth nor rust doth corrupt and where thieves do not break through nor steal praise ye the lord hallelujah the word of god in saint john 46 47 says that he that believeth on me hath everlasting life everlasting life so those of us who are saved we have an investment that God has placed in us and we have to keep depositing because there are some persons out there who have not received this everlasting life that we need to reach glory be to God thank you Jesus Based on the brevity of life, it makes sense for us to invest our time, our talent, our treasures, our investment in an eternal kingdom. Let's sow to God's kingdom. Because the reward is eternal. The Lord bless you. Thank you. One day at a time, sweet Jesus. That's all I'm asking of you. Let's all stand. Give me the strength to do every day what I have to do. Yesterday's gone, sweet Jesus. And tomorrow may never be mine. So for my sake, teach me to take one day at a time. One day at a time, sweet Jesus. Lift your hands and pray in this song, right? Oh, yes, sir, this God, sweet Jesus. And tomorrow may never be mine. So for my sake, teach me to say one day. have heard the word of the Lord that has challenged our hearts, that has reminded us that our priority in investment should be investment in eternity. That should be our priority, investing our time, our talent, and our money in the kingdom of God. There are two kingdoms. The kingdom of this world and the kingdom of God. And your heart is in one of them. And where your heart is, that's where you're going to invest most. But I'm praying today the altar is open. That we'll examine ourselves and make sure that the priority of our investments is in the kingdom of God. Not the kingdom of this world. Because we heard it from the word of God. The kingdom of this world, those investments are corruptible. They're going to decay. They're going to rust. They're going to go. They will not last. But you see the investment in the kingdom of God, they are eternal. 
So the altar is open today for somebody to recommit and say, God, help me. Help me to make sure that the majority of my investment is in the kingdom of God. For the little time maybe I have left here, or maybe not so little, we don't know. To make sure that we are investing in the right place. And for those who are not saved, and thank God some people are already in the altar. Thank you, Jesus. Some people who I believe want to invest right. Hallelujah. Glory to God. So we need you to come right now. Those who have not come yet, anybody else not saved, come and let us pray for you. Don't leave here today without coming to let us pray for you. Because tomorrow may never be ours. Tell your neighbor, neighbor, tomorrow may never be ours. Tomorrow may never be mine. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Lift your hands and worship God. God, sweet Jesus. Oh, when tomorrow may never be